Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Pardon the noise and the uh, shakiness of the camera. So, currently, well, yesterday I cleaned underneath the cages, well, at least this section. It's a rotating thing. Today I'm blowing cobwebs out and, and, and hair. Um, on the double layers, cleaning any of the pans. Uh, bread some doughs to uh, three different bucks. But yeah. <clears throat> Knock the dust and cobwebs down, but for the most part, let the room in the blower, but still get bits hanging on the cages and stuff. I'll try and keep her clean as possible. So, just weaned a bunch, of babies bunch out of the nesting box now. First California litters. But yep. Buck Alley has been extended. Californian, Californian. Old New Zealand boy. New old New Zealand boy. Good old red here. But yeah. Here a little mussy on the back end. A uh wonder if him and the other buck have been spraying at each other through the wall. But Red loves his, his scratches. Yeah. Just chewing a little red man, chewing tobacco while I'm doing this. All the dust and stuff around is not conducive to the pipe smoking. But yeah, so this is mainly breeding down here. There's 31 does. And, uh, the outside row is Buck Alley and some, uh, you know, immediate uh, weaning cages for for young litters. And then they graduate upstairs once they've got made room and, uh, Also, some of these uh, cages will be for holding quite uh, old young does. Uh, they're five to six months is considered quite old for a, a doe without without breeding in the uh, in the industry. Um, you know, some people say, oh, four months. Others say, wait to the five. I usually wait to the five months. But, yeah. So, that's a look at what's keeping me busy. Uh, 
right now for the most part. Sheep are out on grazing. Pardon the mess. So this is all either holdback breeding stock or fryers up here. Some of the nice red babies right there. Hold back females. Sheep pen, hole in the wall I still am working on. It uh, fixed half of that wall this pen over the last year with uh, my brother's help. More hold back does, four months, going on to, on to the fifth month. Friars, 18th will be a ship date for her fryers, uh, that was what we call the five, the six pound rabbits. All right, I'll flip you around, give you a look at the dusty, sweaty person behind the camera. Whoop, nearly dropped you. So yeah, um, it's a revolving cleaning here underneath the cages. Some of them are uh, needing a, uh, a clean next week kind of thing. And then they'll be caught up. Well, you never really caught up because a week and uh, that nice clean section in here will be ready to be cleaned again. But yep, this is, takes up a good couple hours a day of, uh, of work, especially when the, when the big cleaning tasks have uh, come around to uh, do. Uh, it's an old uh, cattle barn, this, but a good one. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> no reds are looking for more scratches or those. It's been pretty dry here and I think that is gonna cost me second cut of hay. I'm not gonna get it. Um, sheep road. There we go, flip you around. They're hiding out behind that big manure pile. The camera does not do that thing justice. Oh, if I can get over the low gate here without hurting myself. There we go. So grazing pastures have come back. We've gotten four or five inches of rain in the last week. So things are looking quite lush. I took the riding lawnmower, kept the deck up, and just took everything down but it was, it was knee high of dead brown grass kind of like some of that way back there in the corner of the field but yeah lambs are sold except for my father's they are uh just flip you back around here they're uh they're, you know that's up to him um any of my lambs, anyways, they're all all sold except for the holdbacks, um, females. Uh, three of them I held back, um, increased the herd, and uh, that means I'll have to do something about a unrelated ram for them. But yeah, after. We finally got some rain. We got a little better temperatures today for the first time in quite a while. It was, lately it's been nothing to have 32 Celsius, 20 Celsius overnight. So like 85 Fahrenheit during the day. And so, you know, it's not, you know, it's not like it's 100 out, but. Uh, for us, it's that's some real heat. 
um, especially without rain. So I am quite happy to have a nice uh, cool break uh, in the weather. We need it. But yeah. So the I think we'll uh, give you the last looks at the uh, sheep out there grazing. Got some more garbage to clean up, of course. It's an old farm. I think, unfortunately, the old girl over there, uh, her both front knees have got arthritis quite bad. She's like 10 years old. And I had her last set of lambs. Decided that um, she's uh, out of the system because her last pair of lambs, she barely had enough milk to, uh, to feed them. And it pulled it down quite hard. So you see her two lambs there with her. They're, you know, they're not a bad size. You know, we had to do a lot of supplement feeding, but um, yeah, the uh, remains to be seen uh, when she goes. But it's time. It's time she, uh, you know, was it wasn't used anymore. Um, too many uh, health risks at her age. There's the old boy out there, the ram. Let's throw this one out, facing away. The one behind him is a uh, uh, one of the ewes, uh, or I should say my side of him, closer one. One of the registered Suffolk ewes, hoping to have first litter off of them, or litter set of lambs off of them oh probably in three months so so November early November probably but the uh, this is going on for 12 13 minutes so that's plenty long enough, so uh, well, that, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your pipes, enjoy your life, and uh, catch you in the next one.